Welcome back, viewers. This is Liquid Divide here with RPG Master 95. And last time I died in a dungeon, so we got to keep our steel sword, and that was it. Yeah, let's open <laughs> the store. So now we're selling things. Oh man, I. We're Welcome getting less and less here. people. Is it because everything think, in the window is expensive? Oh, uh, I think it's because evening is always slower Maybe. anyway. But I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. Yes, I'm present shopping, and I could really use some food. Well, we have plenty of food, but there's more expensive food. Uh, I think, don't we? I thought we had cherries and stuff. Did we sell all that? Or ate it. Oh, yeah, okay. We have bread. Ah. <laughs> bread. Would you like... Oh, uh, will something like this work? Yes, that'll do. Alright, so I'll take it. Alright. We sold walnut bread, yay! If you need anything, just ask. Come on, buy the sword, buy the sword, uh, buy the... Leather armor. Oh, better. That's still better than what he has, I think. <clears throat> I guess so. Actually, if you press the details button, I think it will tell you. That just tells... Uh, he doesn't... Oh, he does have leather armor. That's a little yeah. picture, so... He doesn't need it. He's wasting his money again. He... Goit. Yeah. Yay, we sold leather armor! All right. Oh, That's... Wow. wow. That was I'm awful. Tired. Wait, wow. crap. We needed to break ten thousand dollars. Uh no, that's by tomorrow. Tomorrow's our day to break ten thousand dollars. By the end of the day? I hope so. We'll find out. <laughs> like father, oh, no. like daughter, we did not do good today. We lost seven thousand bucks. Uh, we're getting yelled at right now. Probably. Good morning, Miss Seti. Good morning. Huh. Incidentally, you're aware that today is the first day of collections, yes? Uh, wait, as in, pay up or we take your house collections? Huh. Uh, let's see. I have a calendar that I can check when I'm on break, don't I? Or in the main menu. I bet you'd say... Indeed. This is only the first week of collections, so the amount to be paid is not severe. Yet. However, the amount is scheduled to increase weekly, so keep in mind and do not get lazy. The bill is due at the end of the day. Oh, good. So work as hard as you can today, yes? Affirmations. All right. Maybe RPG's it is. RPG's I... plan is to open shop, well, get us over to Threshold. Do you want to try to put cheaper stuff in the window? Because uh, there's only four people yeah, here. Yeah, only Hi four there. people. Oh, oh, hello, little lady. How much for this? Oh, we don't have to be too greedy. Oh, that's a fine price. Thanks! Please come again! We sold armor! Yay! What, what? Oh, that's it! Oh, whoa! Okay, yeah, we need a new strategy. Uh, Put some cheaper stuff up there, maybe. I don't know. You know what I'm gonna do? What? Buy stuff? We have hit what we need. You wanna go to the dungeon again? I wanna slay that hoe. <laughs> well, we have to start at the beginning. You know that, right? Because and... we died, we're not- we can't start at level 11 or whatever it was, like last time. Right. What happened to our- oh yeah, that's right. Hang on. Crap. Well, this no yes. time will pass. Okay, yeah, sweet. Won't pass since you haven't been anywhere really. <clears> hmm. <throat> I mean, do you want to just have it be a shopping day and then hit up the? I would. I just feel like we don't have a good variety, and the dungeon is a good remedy. Well, I would. I'd try putting some cheaper stuff up. I think you might be onto something. Put like the wooden helm up there and some bread or something. And then, yeah, we have one... Let's put one expensive thing up and leave some of the other stuff out. Maybe. maybe. She also said put your best stuff up there. It might just be coincidence. Well, best stuff being I want to buy that right now. Maybe nobody in this town wants to buy really expensive weapons. Yeah, we have crap. That's yeah, why we, don't we need have to go much. to the dungeon first. Well, we could go to the market or the guildmaster and buy some stuff, but we don't have much money. So I'd... Yeah... I'd, I'd say move the cheaper items that you have in that middle shelf up, rather than placing, like, slime in the window, because that is crap. I feel like that's a variety. Maybe the windbreaker and I don't know. I don't know. Sure, we'll try that. What could go wrong? The rusty dagger is only worth 400. Yeah. Well, Alright, let's give this a shot. I'll try it, see what happens. No, he attracted more people. That's Heck six. Yes. 
Yeah. Eight years of business I'm paying a, off. I'm oh, looking for one of these. these. Mm. Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, that'll do, I suppose. Alright. Did you see something that... Did, earlier you mentioned, like, you saw something that indicated how yeah. close to their threshold. So it gave us a just plus two bonus, and I... I think the just means you got, like, just the right price for them. Okay. And they stack, so right now that was a plus two. The next one will be, like, a plus four, I think. Okay. All right, so he wants some bread, and he's cheap, so it's, like, you know, 115 or so is about all he can afford. Yeah. So now watch. It'll say just plus four, probably. Yeah. Okay. So then you gain that just mean more. that we didn't have to debate? What? Haggle? Uh, you don't want to yeah. haggle. Oh, yeah, I know that. You only get those when um, you don't haggle. Yeah. Right. Welcome. Hey, this is, oh, this yeah. is all you. Welcome. Yeah. Looking for something special? My grandchild's been pestering me to get a hat. Oh, well, we have a helmet. Oh, we bought a hat. No, we... We wait. lost that okay. hat. But we oh, have a we helmet. We do have a helm. <laughs> How about a helmet? That's close. <laughs> Not what Not I wanted. What I, wanted. Uh, I screwed up, didn't I? Oh, hi. Welcome. Oh, I've been looking for one of these. <laughs> Powerful anti-venom. So he was at like 115 or something was where he was happy, I think. That's a good price. Oh, now we just got a combo two because we broke it. Because we right. didn't sell to that guy. So yeah, if you don't have the item they want you to have, you also lose out. That's kind of <clears throat> unfortunate. Alright. Nothing is going on. We can go to the adventures we can. Now, now. Go we to might the as well. Uh, what we need to do first, though, is what? Get a good weapon. Do we have one? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's the shiny thing we can't sell. <laughs> uh, let's see, and does everything else either a side or downgrade? The wooden helm, I think, is better than what he has, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure. We'll find if out. If it isn't, we don't have to bring it. Yeah, we can just... Yeah, he doesn't have a wooden helm. He's got that muffler thing, whatever that is. So you can put that on. And that's it. Unless we want to take bread or something, if we have food. Which we don't. Well, we'll hopefully get it in the dungeon. Then you go... You have to do yeah, it that's in there. Right, yep. Go in there, and then go to that depart. There you go. Jadeway, oh, we can still go there. Can we? Yeah, and that's how you did it last time. It is. But I thought they said when you'd go through a... I thought in our tutorial about doors, they told us if you don't go through a door, you have to start over. But that apparently is untrue. Start over is in start over on the segment. I guess. I thought it meant from the beginning, because then there's no real difference between going through a door and... Um, there is, because it would use up... Well, you get to go home without your items, but it made it sound like you'd have to start the dungeon, like, over and gotcha. specify that if you didn't use the door. I took a little the unclear, penalty I of, um... Oh, Whoa. sandals. He can use those. Sweet. If you want. I took the penalty of going home being you're ending that spendage of your two slots. You are. Whoop. All right. Uh, that might be better than the old muffler. What does that do? It gives us... Defense one defense one, magic two. defense two. I guarantee the sandals are better. Uh, defense okay. two. They're about the same. That one gives you one magic defense, so... The muffler thing. Ooh, crappy clothes. Are we My to... clothes are not crappy! Oh, they're crappy. Ow. Your Ow! Fire Fist is crap. Well, that was fortunate. Alright. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. See, this game has me humming. Usually that's you. <laughs> Candy! Random ingredients. So if you do hit them fast enough after they jump at you and you hit them the first time, you can hit them a yeah. second. But it is tricky on those rabbit guys. Nice. Oh, well, we're getting lots of sugary treats. So this has All been right, a dungeon liquid. trip that's well worth it. Let's mix it up. 
10 favorite Super Nintendo games. Oh, 10 favorite Super oh. Nintendo games. So Super Nintendo is actually one I kind of missed out on, actually. I had like a regular Nintendo forever, and then I I owned a Super Nintendo for about right, a year. Right, you've, you've, you've played the good stuff. I have. But it is an interesting one, because I've played some weird stuff that I normally wouldn't have played Dude, for somebody Dude, if it wasn't for you, I would have never played Pocky and Rocky. That's true, and that is probably on my list of top that ten. That game was awesome. Pocky and Rocky was excellent. So that one's on there. Um, I feel like I'd have to put Chrono Trigger on there, just because. Yeah, if, if you didn't, we'd shut off the video because <laughs> I'd be leaving. So Chrono Trigger for a, I guess, turn-based RPG. And I'll try to keep it, like, one per publisher if I can. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So Chrono Trigger, so I can't do any of the Final Fantasy games on Super Nintendo. Um, I also really liked Terranigma. I don't know if you've that played that one. That was a good game. One. Yeah, of course. Terranigma was great. That one was fun. Um, did you do Zelda on the Super Nintendo? Yeah, I you did. I did do Zelda course. on the yeah. Super Nintendo. Who am I kidding? Remember that time whenever we dismantled the Super Nintendo <laughs> oh, controller? Yes. Just so that we could push two of the directions at the same time. Yeah. Allowing you to walk through walls. You walk through the doors backwards and it really glitches out the game. Yeah. It was fantastic. That was a that was a fun experiment. Years later I found out you could do the same thing without taking apart a controller Using or any other modifications. <laughs> yes. Alright. Uh, so Zelda would be on there. That's four. Right? Four? Yeah, something like that. Alright, maybe I'll get name 11 if I get there, I guess. Uh, let's see. What else would I put on there? I'm trying to think. What else did I play a lot? Metal Marines was actually really fun. I was gonna I say, if you were genre one. double dipping, um, I know we were both digging Second and Setsu 3. Second and Setsu Didn't you play three. that one? No? I don't believe I did. Oh, really? I actually haven't played... Oh, that... no, I did play Second and Setsu 3. I was gonna say, if not, that would be an awesome thing to do for our channel. I have done that one. That was Square, wasn't it? It was Square. Yeah. yeah it was honest. awesome. The really cool thing about I... it was you got to pick three characters from, I believe, a cast of six. Something like that. And it determined a lot of the perspective you had on how you saw the game. But since it's Square, I can't pick it because I already picked Chrono Trigger. I know. That's why I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's that Disclaimer. one. Disclaimer. Um, Turtles in Time was good. Dude, that game's awesome. Turtles in Time was really good. Uh, what else? It's Super Nintendo. Uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors was really was good. Fun. I liked that one. I didn't play it a lot, but what I played was cool. Oh, Super Nintendo Mario Kart, of course. Dude, that has to be on yes. there. That one was good. The Rainbow Road with no edge. <laughs> no, no nothing. Except yes. terrible death. Terrible, terrible death. There's that one. Uh, I'm trying to think. What else did I really like on Super Nintendo that was fun? So, there was Super Smash TV, which was really good. Dude, that game was cool, yeah. I but remember I we played that back in the day. <laughs> but I didn't own that one, I owned Total Carnage, which was... Or maybe it was Maximum Carnage, something like that. That was basically a clone of it. Yeah, <laughs> it was. And that was good fun. <laughs> and then... This was my last game, I have to think of. I was gonna say not on the list, but uh, Harvest Moon I think is up for honorable mention. Harvest Moon's oh jeez, whoa, that was a bomb, oh, wasn't it? Look at my HP. Hmm, that could have been devastating. Holy freaking <laughs> bad YouTube video! I don't video. think we have food, do we? We've just got lots of candy. Oh, you have an orange. What does that do? Oof. Okay, I was gonna say you might want to check and make sure it's actually health. Oh, I knew. I knew it's. Oh. There's been this running trend where sweets. Recover your, uh, your SP, SP, yeah, and food recovers your HP. But orange are is, oranges are very sweet. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll slap you where you're standing with your own controller. But most except people think you're sitting. Fruit so. are sweet. Oh, let's see. A last game for Super Nintendo. Though. What could I pick? There's so many options. Super Nintendo had such a ridiculous catalog. I was gonna say I. I'm trying to let it be your list without interjecting things. Yeah, stop interjecting. I'm I can't sorry. pick Mar Super Mario World would be on the list, except I picked Mario Kart already. Yeah. And I, I honestly played Mario Kart more. Um. Next, that I played a lot, honestly, would be Killer Instinct, I think. Yes! Get a good fighting game on there. That one was a lot of fun. I'd give the slightest edge personally to Mortal Kombat, but Killer Instinct, yeah, that was 
I don't know, though. Man, actually, I don't know if I would give the edge to Mortal Kombat. Both were so much fun. Yeah, I enjoyed Killer Instinct a lot more myself. I don't know, it just seemed like the smoother, more fluid fighter to me. Well, but... and the combos were insane! Yes, the combos were a lot of fun. I had, uh, what was the... was it Tomahawk? Was that the... The Indian dude with yeah. the... Dude, I could do like a with his head uppercut thing. I mean, it was just nuts. Yeah, I usually played as Cinder because yeah, he just Orchid, flew across. Orchid the had the longest combo, but they all had awesome combos. Didn't she? I thought the skeleton guy Dude, that no, teleported Orchid, around. Dude, no, you could break like eighty or ninety. It was ridiculous. I'm pretty sure you could break a hundred with the skeleton dude because he could sure. do the combo breaker teleporting thing. I'm pretty or sure you have access to. Where's your smartphone? Google it right now. <laughs> Google. You want me to check. Oh, man. Biggest combo in Killer Instinct on Super Nintendo. That was a fun game. I the wager is on. I'm telling you, it's Orchid. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see here. Killer Instinct. SNES Maximum Combo. Yeah, I was gonna say, other ones that I enjoyed a lot were like Earthworm Jim 2 was a lot of fun. That was a great game. Top Gear 2 was... Man, I got addicted to it. It was the first racing game I ever played where there was a really good upgrade system. So there was actually an incentive to keep playing. Uh, Kirby Superstar was a lot of fun. Kirby's were always good. Ooh. That one's a hard platform because there's so many great games on Super Nintendo. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's my personal favorite system of all time. What do we got for biggest combo? Uh, well, the top result just says Orchid 80 Killer Combo, but then there's another one that says Maximum Ultra Combo with no character names. It's a YouTube hmm. video. I'll, I'll try watching that and see what You're going to watch YouTube while we make YouTube. It's yes. beautiful. Uh... Welcome to the future, Internet. <laughs> youtube section. Wow, this is a five minute long yeah, YouTube video. Yeah, I'm telling video. you, like Let's 80 see. or 90 with Orchid, I swear that's the biggest you can get. And that was... there was just nothing like that back in the day. Let's see. Oh, this is like all the ult all the characters' ultras is what they, oh, what they do. And those were the top, right? Ultra was the yeah, because the guy would just say ultra like twelve times. C -c -c Combo. Let's see. Fulgore's going on quite the rage here. Dude, Glacius. That dude was, was so fun. cool. They were Aesthetically, all pretty cool. I think he was my favorite. Yeah, he was a pretty cool character. I really like the Jago Ninja dude. He was fun to play Jago's with. Jago was cool. Spino was cool. Dude, the werewolf. I could plop some combos with him on the 64. Yeah. The 64 version was actually pretty decent. Too. Yeah, it was a nice beefy upgrade. I don't think it got the credit it deserved, but... No. It was pretty dang good. Nothing on the Nintendo 64 did. I was reading <laughs> earlier today, it only got like... It got less than 300 games. Did it really? Yeah. But the 300 it did get were mostly pretty quality games, though. They were, but the thing is, is PlayStation was on fire to yeah, the point were. where if you look at sales, objectively speaking, the 64 was technically a failure, even though anybody that played it loved it. Oh, huh. geez, not what I wanted. Um, okay. Do we have any food and you're half dead already? <sighs> I, I didn't know. realize you'd already gotten this far. It took me a I really know. long time to come up with that list, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that went way too fast. Okay, I got bread. One bread. A rather odd folding fan, useful for cooling yourself. Might have another use. Yeah, okay, I think you're right. Orchid probably has the longest. She does. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I was lucky to get like 20, so... <laughs> Alrighty, well, this literally comes down to doing well, and, uh... She is tricky, I'll warn you. Crap. Do you want to give her another shot, or do you want to watch me die? Uh, you know, I already did die, I think it's your turn. And technically it was supposed to be your turn in the first place, so... Quit hitting me! Yeah, she... She's mean. She has... Her reach is... It's deceivingly large, considering she has those little knives. Yeah, darn it. Yeah, you're done. You did... Not very well. <laughs> Mother... I'm sorry. Gosh, words we're not allowed to say on our channel. <sighs> well, the good news is we still have 10,000. 
<laughs> so we can't pay our debt. And hey, and you we gotta do get hear the steel what sword. is. Uh... <laughs> we still get to keep our steel sword. Gosh. So there's that. Silver linings. Silver linings, RPG Master. Silver linings, indeedly. <laughs> <laughs> you also did well. You look tired. Uh, like father, like daughter again, maybe? Oh, no, we exceeded expectations because we made money. We did. Oh, wow. And we just wrote a check. Paid. Hey. So now we have no money. Well, little Wait, money. So this is the payment for the week. Let me see. Next week oh, is 200 Congratulations! Well done! I officially received your payment for the week! Yay. Uh, right, you kind of just said that. <laughs> Let us continue to be repetitive and work hard next week as well! Yay! I did it! Did you really just fist you bump next. in the air? <laughs> I, uh, if you so, haven't noticed... Sometimes we get a little too into this. It's entertaining. So if you haven't noticed, I've probably done that every time I've said ho, too, while we're playing this game. <laughs> you just throw your fist <laughs> yes. in the air like you don't care. Always. It's usually my left fist, because it's not near to you. I almost punch yeah, you. Yeah, you almost punched right me in the fist. face. That's why I noticed it right. this time. I'm counting on you next week, too, Tyr. You know, you got to have some enthusiasm when Heck you're playing yes. this game. <laughs> oh, wow. We get, like full-on cutscene here. Hmm, so this is it. That insolent little plebeian shop which is the focus of so much rumor. Uh-oh. My, my, it's so common. So dirty. So dull. How does that little pearl get people to come in, I wonder? She's still a girl. Well, no matter. <laughs> This is the perfect opportunity to show that little shrew in this whole city what a truly elegant shop is like. We're gonna have a competing shop? Oh, and she has a fairy of her own. You gotta do the fairy on them. Okay, I'll be this fairy. Hi. Let's see, she's gonna be kind of evil, I guess. Because I don't know how to do an evil fairy. <laughs> uh, you know, you don't own that store yet, right? It belongs to your parents. Silence, you insolent fairy. It'll be mine eventually. That's practically the same thing. Oh, little shop racketeer. Your days are numbered. <laughs> I'm used to Zelda fairies. They're nice. <laughs> and I told you to address me as young mistress. Wow. All right, well, I guess... All right, Karen from... Harvest Moon, <laughs> coming in to open up and wreck shop. Oh, we've got an Ooh, Amazon got box. A... What is it? Is <laughs> it looks it like the me? Amazon box. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? Uh, oh, she's in there. Oh, oh my genius astounds even me sometimes. Oh, the best way to learn about your foe's direct infiltration. <laughs> Colonel, this is Snake. <laughs> and with strategic espionage <laughs> abilities such as this, I can't fail. It's just a box. Um. Mm. The interior decoration is as seedy and plebeian as the outside, which means their selection of items must be astounding. What could it be? What sort of thing could filthy little prole sell? Perhaps some kind of black and white animal. The ownership of which violates international treaties. <laughs> Perhaps the most delicious apples this side of the Murder Blanc. Perhaps one of those books, Father says. I'm too young to read. Wow. Um. Oh, be quiet, whoever you are. You're inter interrupting my train of thought. Uh, could you come out of the box, maybe? At least? It kind of looks weird on the floor here. Oh, but that means... Uh... Bring! Exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Dun 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 dun. Oh, wow, and that box is out of here. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> that was nice. In all honesty... <clears throat> Ah, I shouldn't be surprised by this. I should have expected a foe as canny as you to break through my otherwise impenetrable still techniques. Yes. Okay. RPG Master 95 is out of voices. This confirms it. You are indeed worthy of being my rival. Uh, what? Rival? 
Ah, I have failed to introduce myself, of course. I am the honor of the month. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yes. I'm drawing the line. Yes. No. Yes, he hath no. returned. Not as her. I am the honor oh. of the monolithic oh. item store chain. The big bash. Well, to be specific, I am the honor's only child and inheritor. That is my name. Do you remember it? Everyone around me calls me Young Mistress Alouette. But you are my rival. So I have the privilege. Of calling me the papyrus. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> uh, big bash. Oi, is it a massive store chain with a capital stock value of fifteen billion picks and a yearly gross profit of five hundred billion? Wow. Oh dear. I heard the commotion and came to see what was happening, but why are the two of you discussing Big Bash? I'm, uh, not really sure. Hmm. It's interesting you also have a fairy. Huh? The Prime. Yeah? What's up? Oh, uh... Mistress, I see your attempt at infiltration failed. What are you talking about? The superior detection ability simply caught me off guard and overwhelmed my cardboard. That is all. That's a fairy. Dang, this one sure is sharp. You got a problem with that, kid? I mean, you hang out with one too, so what's the big deal? <laughs> Call me Prime. You could say I'm Alu or the Mistress's guardian. Well, I'm Reckit, and this is Tyr. It's nice to meet you. I'm naive and oblivious. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, real pleasure to meet you, too, bookworm. Eh? Well, are you by chance referring to me? Psh, like there's anyone else here, I'd call that? Well, the pleasure is all mine, then. Wow. All right, mistress, we've introduced ourselves. So how about we now head home? So what are you talking about? I haven't finished introducing half of the fantabulistic ideas, amazing incredibleness, this is Alouette, inheritor of the Big Bash. Wow. <sighs> if we stick around for that, we'll be here all week. Come on now, we're going home. <laughs> Wreck it! Do listen and listen well. Just enjoy your happy carefree days as long as you can, for the when I am sure it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you guys around. So, uh... What do you think that was all about? Why, that was not dissimilar to meeting a hurricane in human form. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Alright, well... Do we not have a new... Okay, I'm waiting on... Nope, we're not getting a new goal today. No. I guess we'll have to figure out our next deadline on the next episode of Wrecketeer with RPG Master 95. And Liquid Divide.